Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky. What's up, you guys? So, as you guys can tell, this is a wig from ChinaLaceWig.com. They sent me their HD Undetectable Lace Wig. It's a 360, and you will get those amenities in the box. Um, I'm pretty sure everything will be a little bit different. As you can see, the wig is not in like the best looking, you know, standards right now because I definitely need to bleach the knots on this unit. But it's a 22 inch virgin Brazilian body wave and it's an undetectable HD Swiss lace. So basically you're not supposed to be able to see the lace when you put the wig on. But we'll see about all of that. So you guys, after bleaching the knots and pre-plucking it, this unit came out so pretty. Um, I did use the purple shampoo. It has combs inside of it. As if I forgot to mention, it is a 360. It has a 180% density and it's 22 inches. So of course I styled it off camera already. So China Lace Wigs. I worked with them before, probably like about a good handful of times, but look, do you see that lace? Honey, she's melted. Like she is really transparent. Now, let me tell you guys something. Once you get transparent lace, like transparent Swiss lace, you do not want to wear like a regular lace wig anymore. Like for real, you could definitely tell the difference. You can see the difference. I mean, a regular lace wig is good too, as long as you know how to put your little spin on it. But I'm telling you guys, once you wear an undetectable HD Swiss lace, you ain't gonna want to go back to like a regular lace wig. So just take it from me. This is a really nice wig. So. I did style it off camera. I think the wand was about an inch and a half that I used. And I just left the uh, clips in it. The wig has been curled for some days though. Now it's time to cut the lace off of this. I always tell you guys, make sure you get you some good hair tools because they are really beneficial. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get you some. Or you can order some from Amazon, girl, okay? And you just want to take your small scissors. I mean, if you want to use a big pair of scissors, that's on you. But I just trust the smaller ones better to cut the lace off of my wig because I really don't want to cut too much of any of the hairs off. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut as close as possible. If you do see some of the hairs coming off, that's okay because, you know, I've already pre-plucked it. And I don't really always use the hairline that the wig comes already pre-made. You know, you got to make your own. So no big deal. And I'm still going to go ahead and just kind of like dip into the curves of where I pre-plucked it. Just trying to make it not so uniform looking. But actually, this lace is really nice. It's very transparent. I mean, I've seen some that are a little bit more transparent than this, but this is really good. Okay. And now right here, I'm just going to part directly above my ear because the wig was just a little bit too long on the sides just a tad bit not very much but i just wanted to make sure that the wig fit properly you know comfortably so i'm going to just cut off that excess piece of lace so that way i don't have to tuck it behind my ear and then i'm just going to repeat that on the same on the opposite side with my rat tail comb as you guys see there is the part and you just want to part it directly above your ear so that way it'll rest above your ear and it'll be comfortable and it also allows your wig to lay flat. I'm gonna go ahead and make some baby hairs, or excuse me, not baby hairs, but sideburn hairs, because I really do feel like I need them at all times. And I'm also going to just pull out some hair for some baby hairs, or wispy hairs, whatever you wanna call them. And it's really important to cut off any little piece of lace, even if it's super tiny, Trust me, cut it off because if it's in the way of your ear, it still will be detectable. So you want to make sure that you cut off any piece of lace that may get in 
the room of your ear or your hairline. And I'm gonna be using one of my favorite hairsprays to adhere my wig, which is the Got To Be Glam Force. You know, I love this stuff. If you like something different, please let me know what you prefer down below because I'd be interested in trying something different. And I just spray the hairspray between the part and then I just use my blow dryer on cool to dry it down. I strongly suggest using a metal rat tail comb to adhere your wigs or just use to put on your frontal only because the plastic ones, they will catch any type of hairspray residue and become really sticky. So just my advice, in my opinion, I would advise a metal rat tail comb for this. Now I'm just going to repeat the same step in the front along with that on the sides. And for the front I decided to spray it underneath only because of how I want to brush the frontal portion of this wig so I really didn't want any type of hairspray on the hair at all so I just went ahead and sprayed it underneath but either way even if you spray in between the part a little bit of hairspray may get on that hair depending on how you're spraying so try to spray really close to the actual part when spraying or adhering your wig so that way the hairspray doesn't fly or spray all out now to make my wig stick really, really good, I'll spray some in between parts, even on the sides, because it'll stick down even more. So if you really want a good hold, you can spray in between the parts and just take your blow dryer on cool to medium heat and just blow dry the product. If you don't have a uh, blow dryer, then I would highly suggest just spraying in small sections at a time and just pressing it down with your rat tail comb, or you can also use like a dry wrap or a head scarf will also suffice. But y'all, this wig is very nice. Like the, the lace is super duper transparent. I like it. I really do like it a lot. Right, you guys so now it's time to cut those baby hairs or wispy hairs or whatever you want to call it and I decided to use my eyebrow trimmer for this step right here and for my sideburn hairs I'm going to do the same as well as for the ones in the front I'm going to take my Glam Force hairspray and I'm going to spray it on my toothbrush. The reason why I do this is because it makes doing wispy hairs a lot easier. It'll help the hair kind of like sculpt. You don't have to add gel to it or any type of hardening product. So I just really like to just take the hairspray and spray it on my toothbrush and just sculpt my baby hairs. And to make my hairline look a little bit more natural, I did use the Got To Be Volumaniac styling mousse and I'm just going to kind of like take the hairs in the front and kind of brush them in a slanted motion a slanted direction so that way it doesn't look so blunt you can kind of like pull the hair down a little bit over the lace when brushing so that way you don't see any lace if it wasn't transparent but that's the reason why I kind of like brushed them in an opposite direction so that way it'll look less detectable as a lace wig for the finishing touches, you guys, I'm going to be using two of my pressed powders. Uh, the first one was a little bit too dark, and the reason why I'm putting on the pressed powder is because, for one, I had to clean my hairline up uh, just to put the wig on, so I'm just kind of basically freshening my makeup up, and I just decided to brush some of it on the lace wig, so that way it could all just look even, but honestly, the wig is very, very transparent. Um, I did try out some of the tinting spray on this wig which was in the middle if you see it's a little bit red like an auburnish color I did try it out and honestly I could have did without it was fine the way it was so you guys this is the finished look she came out really nice I wasn't really sure what side I wanted her to be parted on so I just put her in I just put a part on both sides but if you put a part on both sides it does give the hair more volume and height so that's a trick if you want more height like in the front right there you can just part it on both sides and press into it and it'll give it more height and volume 
but the hairline is really nice china um china lace wigs they did a really good job on this unit i mean look the hairline is nice you guys okay I might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional, but then I turn around and let it go. I see you watching me from a distance. I see you can't decide what to feel. But if you dig a little deeper, boy, you know you really want to get to know me. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, I'm a bit too much, but I'm fun and games When I'm at the tooth, I just wanna play If you are looking for one hell of a ride, just come and get it Baby, I'm on yours Come and get it, 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 come and get it. Guys, So I really was just gonna do a voiceover, but I figured I had a couple minutes before I had to rush out the door to go get Mumsy from school. I try to do my videos before she gets home so that way I could spend time with my kids, you know, all that good stuff. The hairline came out amazing on this wig. Like, seriously, excuse me if I'm looking to the left of me. I'm looking at the monitor to make sure that I'm crispy, clear, and not blurry. But the hairline, the lace came out amazing on this unit. Like, listen, honeys, it was like a very very thin sheer lace it's very thin and sheer i like the way it just kind of like melted on my skin just even prior to the application have you guys seen that china lace wigs i've worked with them a few times you know um never to be disappointed um there has been a while since i've worked with them but i really do like this 360 unit it came out so pretty and look i ain't even got no baby hairs oh i hope i'm come on camera i ain't even got no baby hairs in the front all i did was just kind of like swoop it like that and that'll help it look a little bit more natural came out really gorgeous i put two parts in it because i really wasn't sure what side i was going to let it go to but you can you know it makes it a lot easier plus it also gives it some volume in the hair so hello yes this wig is gorgeous honeys okay this wig is actually really really pretty i do like this one um the curls, it looks a little bit fancy for what I have on, which is a t-shirt, but you know what? Well, we can look glamorous in a t-shirt as well. This is really, really, really nice. So it has like this low luster to it. You know what I mean? Very low luster. Now, the one thing that I do know when I use the hairspray that it holds for days, like it'll hold for a few days. I decided to try something different and spray it exactly on the lace underneath. So that way, you know, it'll just definitely just cling to the skin, cling to, you know, your hairline. You definitely want to make sure that you clean it off prior to putting any wigs on because you have makeup, you have dirt, oils, all kind of stuff that you put on your face. So you definitely want to clean off the hairline so that way it just, you know, it holds. But I love this hairspray. It's amazing. I actually really do like it. Now, the got to be Volumaniac Mousse. This is really good. This is a really good product also. But be aware that, you know what I'm saying, I did notice when I do use it, it kind of like lifts my lace. So I'm not really sure if it has any type of chemicals in it that are making the wig lift. But girl, let me tell y'all one thing before I go. Um, you can check out China Lace Wigs. I'll definitely leave all the information. But if you want to keep your wig on for days and then you really don't want to wash it, but you know, you work out, you perspire fire you know you might be in areas where there's a lot of cigarette smoke or whatever type of smoke you know what i'm saying and you know that does cling to your own you know your wig your cap you can always freshen it up without having to wash it by using the wig freshener from wig extensions um this is the cap deodorant i use it inside and out you know it does make your wig smell really really good this one is the mango madness this one here this one here is the egyptian musk which was one of my favorite body oils back in the days you could definitely deodorize your cap inside so that way you don't have to wash it it will prolong the wash and then the last one that they sent me is the coco chanel all of them do smell really good i'll leave the information below but for right now i'm gonna just spray this because you know you put heat to it you put chemicals in it and sometimes it gives it like a wonky smell and even though it's just for the inside of the cap girl let me tell you if you want to smell good i'm pretty sure you want your wig to smell good just as well so you can check out china lace wigs i'll leave all the information below for you guys i gotta go gotta get my girl mumsy from school so on that note i love you make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the soon to come video I'm not